Hey, what up, guys? This is Chris from Pierce Rustin. Today, I'm gonna show you a review of a figure that is pretty cool, very, pretty awesome figure. And this is the Colossus of the Swamp uh, from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from NECA. And it's a lovely, big, chunky figure. Love it to death. Barely fit the box frame on the actual video, but it's pretty big and awesome. Here's a little bit of bio of Napoleon Bonafrog. It's pretty cool. Here's some, some pictures of him. And some artwork. You open this part here. You see a big picture of him. Of the actual figure. It looks pretty sweet. Here's a big window of the figure. It comes with more accessories, just one head there extra that shows, but on the back it has more accessories. I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you guys what's going on. Here we have uh, Napoleon out of the packaging. Well, not completely, but uh, I wanted to show you how it looks with the bubble thing going on. And he has the extra head here. And here in the back, it comes with a tray with two extra heads for the regular frogs. Two, um, two, uh, four extra hands, one, uh, two gripping hands and two like posing hands and the railgun that transform him or takes him back. I don't remember that episode, man. I need to watch the cartoons again so badly, but I want to get the complete series so I can watch them one by one. So yeah, let's uh, take it out of the package. Order. We have uh, Napoleon. Bonafrog out of the package and man it looks super awesome super hefty a lot of plastic here man it cost me like uh, one of the Marvel Legends that they're selling right now uh, here in TJ Tijuana I think on uh, Marvel Legends the classic ones like uh, or the ones from the new spider movie the latest Sp spider-man movie are like around 650 pesos that's the same thing that I pay for this guy so that's around maybe $30. And I think it's worth every penny, man. It's just amazing figure, man. Nice sculpt. Nice paint apps. I don't know what's going on here, but it's awesome. It's like uh, he jumped out of the cartoon, like all the other figures from this line. Really nice. Have not have any problems with the articulation or anything like that. Here's the, a closer look to the face. Really cool. The jacket is like a rubber piece. You can take it off if you wish to. I already did. And uh, it's uh, easy to take off and easy to put back in. The purple shirts look pretty cool also. Very Hulk. So yeah, if uh, Marvel provided the license to NECA, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a lot of good Marvel Comics figures, man. And they will sell like crazy too. <laughs> so I hope NECA can get that license or maybe they have problems with Hasbro. I don't know. Look at that guy. It's just awesome. Now that we have it here already, I'm going to talk about the articulation. Let's do that. So the arm can move onto here. It's pretty nice. Uh, move down. Rotate on the bicep. Double articulation on the elbow. A little bit uh, hinder there. Not the greatest uh, elbow but uh, it works on the hand you can rotate it and they have hinge all of them have hinge so that's cool the head you you have nice articulation on the head you can move it side to side a little bit of a attitude that's cool he can look up pretty nice he can look down pretty cool the jaw can open but barely open so you can see the thong there and also it's painted inside so uh, I think they can improve that part, but let's, uh, it works. <laughs> they should have used the same uh, articulation on the eyebrows like Toka, so it can have different expressions. Maybe the cost is more, I don't know. Diaphragm, he can lean down, he can lean back, and it looks even higher on this guy, so that's pretty cool. You can move to the side, to the other side, that's nice. You can rotate it also 360 degrees. You can also rotate here on the waist. It's a little bit of hander because of the pants here on the back and the sculpt wise, so I don't recommend moving that too much. And on the legs, he has nice spread. 
even if it's a big guy, so I think that's awesome for him. No rotation on the thigh. I thought it's gonna have rotation on the thigh, but it doesn't. I think it does a little bit, but it's all the way inside here on the ball peg. I thought it was gonna rotate here, but I think that's too big, so it can rotate. It has no articulation on the knee, which is pretty cool. No cut here on the feet. But you can move the feet down, very good. You can move it up. And it has a very nice pivot. It's awesome, it's a beautiful figure. Big chunky, I mean, I, I wish I can see a Hulk like this. It's gonna be awesome. I mean, this guy can be a Hulk up the bat. You just sculpt it a little bit for customizers. It's gonna be a great Hulk. Already has the shirts, so yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, let's talk about the uh, accessories. Uh, the first accessory that we saw is in the front of the packaging. It's a little, I'm pretty sure that that was my bad. And uh, is it like the happy face, like when he's not uh, rage out? So that's cool, you know. A good big frog Frankenstein thing going on. Hulk being patient. <laughs> he has this face that I put it on actual Donatello from the uh, Mutant Mayhem cartoon, and uh, actually fits. <laughs> It looks kind of crazy. We have the other one, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I don't remember the names of each frog. I don't know if it's Genghis Khan or the other guys. So yeah, that's an awesome head sculpt. And to be an extra, it's very awesome. You have two grabby hands, so he can grab onto stuff or a figure or a character. And you can pound him with the other hand or slap him around. <laughs> also hinge, so you can move the hand properly you have some uh, open hands that I did a really cool pose when he's like standing on his hands all the way and uh, you can actually pull it out and I'm pretty sure you can pull out uh, like one hand standing these hands are pretty cool also for posing here we have uh, the gun which is also sculpted pretty cool uh, unfortunately it's just hollow here on the on the <laughs> top but this uh, crazy illusion that it has liquid on it so that's that's nice Nice handle, nice paint app. It also has like a little green on the inside there, so that's awesome. So yeah, pretty cool accessory. A little bit of size comparisons. As you can see, this is a six inch figure from Marvel Legends. It's a little bit taller than six inch, I think, but uh, it's uh, so you can get an idea how big this guy is. Check that out. I have uh, the vintage, well it's not the original one, it's a KO, I do have the original one, just had this one on hand. It's a KO from the movie stars of uh, Turtles and it's pretty cool, as you can see. Very tiny, and this is the Loyal Subjects. I think Loyal Subjects is the same size as the NECA ones. A little bit taller than NECA I think, but uh, it's almost the same mark. And as you can see, it's a little fair compared to this guy, it's just a Big hulky figure, man. And we have Donnie from Playmates back in the day. Now, poor thing, nobody wants him. <laughs> I used to want him, but then NECA came in. But uh, it's a big figure, and as you can see, this uh, bulky one. Uh, Napoleon is just a beast of a figure, man. Look at that guy. Too bad from Motu. If, even if you don't like uh, Motu line and you like a great uh, monster thing, this guy is beautiful, man. This is a gorgeous figure, has a lot of accessories. And uh, you're not gonna get disappointed like, to get in this guy. He's also a beast of a figure. Not bulky as this guy that has his bulk, but uh, this guy is just bulkier. But the size comparisons, this guy is uh, to the crest here. It's a little bit taller than than um, Napoleon. If you take the crest, it's, Napoleon is a little bigger, but almost the same size, man. And this guy is around the H inch mark because uh, it's even taller than the regular versions of uh, Motus from that line. So uh, Napoleon should be about around, around 8 inch. I don't have a ruler, but uh, yeah. And it's awesome to see these guys together. Big bulky figures. Love these figures, man. Awesome Napoleon. You can take out the vest thing. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's a big chunky plastic. Uh, just uh, you have to just move the arms in the correct position and you can take it off with no problem It's not uh, glued or anything on it. So it's, it's a nice fit and it looks pretty cool as you can see Look another accessory I have uh, Napoleon as you can see uh, With no vest on him 
and it looks pretty cool <laughs> like i said before if you're a customizer this guy can be a great hulk man you just have to sculpt another two fingers there or just split two and make one or i don't know <laughs> the same on the hands or just use another uh hands and feet for this guy sculpt the neck and head and it's gonna look awesome but yeah man look at this guy he's a beast wearing his other uh head looks pretty sweet pretty cool but uh for some reason when you move it it detached from the figure right away the other one you can actually move the articulation and it doesn't uh, move apart but this one if you try to move up it uh, it attaches right away the other one doesn't do that so I don't know maybe it's a little bit bigger this guy this head or I don't know but that's uh, what I what I encounter with this guy maybe it's just mine I don't know <laughs> alright guys well uh, we're gonna end this and uh, at the end I'm gonna put a short that I did about this guy and uh, it is pretty cool uh, you're gonna see some uh, cool poses that I managed to pull out with this big guy and uh, you, believe me you're gonna have a lot of fun with this guy uh, you can use it for smashing figures posing you name it this guy is gonna make you happy and uh, it's really fun really really cool so um, this is gonna be all guys I hope you enjoy uh, what is left <laughs> the little short about uh, demonstration of this guy and uh, just remember keep on rocking and keep on collecting Beer Saras, oh baby, letters.